I'm going to show you how to speed up your computer to speeds you never thought possible. Even if you have an older computer that's running slowly, this will definitely speed you up. So if we take a look at our taskbar at the bottom, we're going to right click on it and choose Task Manager. Now some of you might have your taskbar on the sides or at the top, but uh, this is what we've got on this particular computer. If we go to Performance, you can see how much CPU we're using, how much memory, whether the disk is flooded with traffic or not. And what you can tell if your computer is running slowly is if any of these are running at really high rates. So we can go to the Startup tab, a couple of tabs to the right, and look at all these different things that are starting up when the computer starts up. And this is slowing us down. And most of these applications don't need to be running. So if I highlight Adobe Reader, for instance, there's no reason for that to start up when I start my computer. That's just going to use a lot of resources. Apple Push, don't need that. Google Chrome, no reason to start that up when I start my computer. I can start that manually. As well as the Google Update. And you're going to find a lot of different things here. Now, some things you don't want to disable, such as if you have a trackpad, a mouse pad, that kind of thing, then it may disable your mouse. If you have a wireless mouse, you might also find that that becomes disabled. So you don't want to do that either. So there's lots of different things that you don't want to do. But the things that you do want to do are typically application-based. So for instance, Java Update, that's an application. I don't want that. However, Intel, I want to leave that because that's ha that has to do with the hardware. Logitech webcam, that's hardware. I'm going to go ahead and leave that as well. Uh, my browser assistant, don't need that. You can be disabled. Persistent module, Intel, I'm going to leave that going. So you can tell the applications versus uh, what's going on with the hardware so you don't accidentally disable something that you shouldn't be disabling. And I'm going to disable the OneNote tool. Anything to do with Microsoft Office you can disable. There's no reason for those to start up. And once you have everything that you want to disable, you can go ahead and close this out. And then when you restart, you'll see your computer runs much faster.